episode of Crafting with Shalin on Mondo Market TV. Welcome to today's broadcast. Yes. So we have a super cool show going on. This th this will build upon last week's episode. So you're bound to have a great time because it's going to be fantastic. But listen, before we get started, remember. Call your friends. Let them know that we're live. This is yeah. this is our time to gather with friends and just have a good time crafting. So be sure to share. Give them a call. Send them an email. Post it on Facebook. Share. Just let them know that we're live. And don't forget that the best viewing experience is on MondoMarketTV.com. That's where you can watch the video. There's a chat below where you can interact. Uh, but I am monitoring. We are monitoring uh, Facebook website, YouTube, so wherever you like the best, um, participate there, but be sure to talk to us and let yeah. us know that you're there. Yeah, I'm All so right. excited. I'm yes. so excited. Yeah, this so tell me, tell me about today's okay. show. So this is in addition to last week we did little Christmas gnomes, but they were like the buffalo check and the black and white check. This week we're doing a little bit different. We're going a little more uh, formal. And Ooh. so we have gnomes that are just a little bit bigger. They're they have a cute. little more added to them, but they are so cute. The patterns on here are, uh, you know, a pine cone, mistletoe, and then like a white wonderland, Ooh. winter wonderland. So you can actually use those for, say, January. Ah, so, so they're not, not just holiday just specific. Holiday, right. Yes. And the pine cone can actually be, if you're like me, who keeps their woodland tree up all year, you could put it with your woodland tree, or, or if your decor has woodland in it, I mean, it would just be so cute. Should and I mean, let so. me let me let me show you so you know uh, what she's talking about. So here's one of the styles. That's the winter. This is the winter style. Winter Look how cute that is. And he's just so cute. Then here we have the pine cone. Oh is no, the, that's the mistletoe. This is the mistletoe. That's the mistletoe. Hollyberry mistletoe. Adorable, right? Uh huh. And the pine cone. Pine cone. I. Uh, I love the pine cone one myself because that's that's me. So I think it's really cool. So this is, is what we're doing today. Awesome. And these are a little bit bigger than uh -huh. last, the previous one we did, right? Right. Okay. So we have, um, there's a little bit more to them. Um, they have a little bit more fur. A little, I don't know. It's not really fur. They're beards. It's like They're, fuller. Yes. So, and the, <laughs> the material's a little higher grade. So I like their little noses. Yeah. They're just, they're sweet and sassy. And I actually did, is it this one? With no mustache. Oh. So even though you can see the holes on the sides, he's still so cute. Yes. So I really like these a lot. And um, <laughs> like the mistletoe and the pine cone actually have a shimmer in them, which is really, really pretty. Like you can see it up front, but the winter wonderland one, that one has a silky sheen to it that's mm, silver. Yes. So it is silver and white. So it's not just, um, it's not just a white that looks kind of pale. So I'm really excited. So, yes. but I want to show you what happens when you get your kit. So for you, you that ordered last week and you ordered your kit last week, this is what's going to happen. When you get your kit, you're going to get whichever one you've ordered, you'll have a picture. So you're going to get your picture and then you're going to get your instructions. It tells you everything to do, what you need to be doing. So um, pretty much it's self-explanatory, but you can come back and watch these videos and it'll show you. So this is what you're going to get. So it's like a Christmas present. It's really kind of cool. It's really cool. I, I loved it. When you gave us these and I saw them in a little packet, it makes it so exciting and it's, cool to open. It's like you're getting a Christmas present yes. from the crafting place. So, so you'll just open this up and everything you need is going to be right in here. So I'm just going to tear that apart and rip it like you don't care. <laughs> so here's what you get. So you will have your batting that is for your hats in there with the wire. The wire is actually wrapped around the batting to keep the batting in place. So you're just going to untwist your wire and you're just going to take that, pull it out of your batting. So you have batting and you have your wire. Just straighten your wire out because that's going in your hats. And then you're going to have your heads, your little tiny heads, your pots. And then your little noses are going to be inside one of the pots. So, oh. you know, make sure you don't flip them around. They've got tape, so if they flip, the little knobs will be inside. 
So you have three, and it comes with three gnome three heads gnome and three heads. gnome bodies and three noses. Right, and then your material is already cut for your hats, so all you have to do is just put them together, and then your fuzzy beard material. So it's a really cute, cute kit, and I'm so excited to share it with you guys because I really like these a lot. I think they're a lot of fun, they're cute, easy to do, and we're gonna, we're gonna actually go through and do a couple of them today. Ooh, cool. Yes, and I want to show you what, um, you can put a little bit more of the, the little beard material, you can put that into, I'm going to set this down, sorry, you can put that into the back, so I'm going to show you what I did to the backs of them and then the fronts. You can do all kinds of stuff with these, but I am so excited because just the cleverness of gnomes is, I don't know if anybody's watched the new gnome movie, but it is just so cute. So, <laughs> so these little guys, and I'm going to show you. And by the way, Marie Lewis, she said, I'm here, but I'm sick, but I'm a sick puppy. Oh, I'm sorry, Marie. That stinks. That's not cool. We hope you get better really soon. Yes. So what have we here? So this is what the materials look like before you make them into a and hat. Look how you can see the shimmer when the depending on how the light yeah. hits it. It's a really nice upgraded material too. So you're not it's it's very sturdy, it's stiff, um, but it's really pretty. And very that's the pretty. thing. If you have a theme in your um, decor for Christmas that has the blacks at all in it, the mistletoe one would be gorgeous your pine cones like i say it doesn't necessarily have to be christmas but oh my gosh it's still so super cute and your white one can be for january for snow or winter wonderland so you know the three different kits you can choose from the different materials and um i can't wait to see what you guys make so i'm really excited so we are gonna start and i'm actually gonna do the mistletoe one because i love the gold in it i think it's really pretty and what I did was I've already painted um, some of the bodies on here and I glued the heads on. So this is what it should look like when you've got your body painted and your head all on. Now I didn't paint the head. So if you want to, go ahead, paint the head. And for this, you don't have to, you just painted, you didn't have to do a primer. Nope. You didn't have to paint with Nothing. white before or anything. Nope. It's good, it's good as it is. This one I used is just an Americana. This one says slate or shale green. So I just did a lighter green. You could actually do more of the traditional darker green on this. It would look gorgeous with this. Oh yeah. You could do a gold body. So you don't have to necessarily stay with the color. You could do the gold body and oh my gosh, it would be so, so pretty. So we're gonna just glue this and I'm gonna show you how. And for those that watched last week, you guys will totally understand. And this is just easy and fun and fast. And I love, I love um, crafts that do that because oh my gosh, the funness from it when you get them all done so I am just adding a little bit of glue to this top right here. And then I'm just gonna fold this over to the fold. So right to that edge, I'm gonna glue it. Now you can use a tacky glue. You can use um, anything that you want, like a um, fabric fusion glue. Those work out really good too, but because I'm do the shea way. I want, I want it fast. So I'm just going to glue it. With the hot glue. With the hot glue. But I really like the hot glue. And as long as I get it um, to where I don't feel like it's, it's a big blob and I, you know, it doesn't look messy. I think it's okay. But hot glue is like a crafter's best friend. And I'm sure everyone will agree with that one because you can't live without hot glue. So what I'm going to do is I have a little piece of a fray right here. So I'm just going to cut some of my, just those little edges that didn't work. So now that I've got it folded in half, I have a hem. And you can either leave it like this, but you're going to have a point at the back, or you can fold it over and do it one more time. And that's what we're going to do. We'll just do it one more time. See if my little glue stick will go in yet. So 
I mean, these are easy. Kids can do this. If you have grandkids, I'm so excited for my grandson to come over and I'm gonna make some of these with him, but I'm making farmer gnomes. Ooh. So we're gonna make some little farmer gnomes because my tree is so rugged and everything I have is pretty rustic. So we're gonna do some farmer slash camping slash, you know, fun. But and see? I mean, remember, gnomes are cool all year long, oh, right? And don't they bring you good luck? Yeah. I heard that they bring you good luck. I've heard two different things now, and I'm just like, I think they bring us good luck. But they're so cute. And like we were talking last week, these can be on a place setting for yeah. holidays. So it would just be so cute. So I see? love the idea of it for place settings for the holidays. For each person you make, yes. they're so quick for you to make. So you can crank mm -hmm. out like 10 of these if you have a bigger family gathering type of thing. Oh, yeah. You do one for each person. And How unique and cool. And they get to take it with them. And take it home. That's a, the thing. As a memory of the fun times that you mm -hmm. had together as a family. I love that. And now my family's going to watch that and go, okay, we get a bunch of gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> so they probably will, but who knows. So, okay, now we've made our little cone hat. So this is easy, this is so easy, and it's so cute. So now we're just gonna take that. You're gonna get in your um, kit, it has the wire. Just pull one of the pieces of wire out, and you are just gonna put that right up into your hat. So a question from Wilma. Yes. Wilma asks, I have a question already. Sweet. Do I get each of the materials in the kit or are all three the same? I put the kits in my cart about 40 minutes ago and I didn't have a choice of material. So do, does it come with one of each of the hats or they get to pick which ones you they want? You can pick which ones you want. So if you want the white or you want the mistletoe or you want the pine cone. So either or, if you do want to mix, just let us know. Okay. And we, I can mix them for you. But that's a good question. I'm so excited to see what you can create, Wilma. I'm, I'm like totally stoked. I think it's going to be awesome. So there we have our wire in. And you know what I found? What is really interesting is when I was doing this the other day, I accidentally, you know how you goof in crafting and you think, oh, why didn't I do that sooner? So I just put a piece of glue on the, the end of my wire and I just put it to the end there. And it, um, it stuck. So I was like really excited. So this is what's gonna make it so you can twist your, twist your, um, your hat around. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm just gonna take the excess and actually put it right into here. So after you do this, now you're gonna stuff it. And there's plenty of stuffing. So if you want your hats to be really full, stuff them good. But if you don't, I'm, I talked to a friend the other day and she was like, uh, I just don't like them very, very thick, you know, to have a ton of stuffing in them. I just kind of want them to be floppy. And I thought, well, that's cute. Okay. So, so if that's the case, just less stuffing. Less stuffing. And um, you know what's really interesting too is um, you can make them so that they just stand straight all the way up and then put if you have any embellishments put those on so. well i i know you're gonna get to this in a minute but i like the idea of the embellishments like the one with the bell i think that's so cute i i stuck that bell on um actually late last night because i thought oh i just want to put some on to show the how you can embellishment and that's uh -huh. really good to bring that up because oh my gosh you could do so much with these in fact the mistletoe i brought some christmas garland that I got at one of my local craft stores here and um, I'm going to put it around the top of the hat because I thought it would be just so cute. So lots of things to do. There are lots of things you can embellish these with and okay my husband was telling me I need to put eyes on them. I didn't have the heart. I didn't because I didn't know what it would look like and I'm, I apologize but you can put eyes on them. I just felt like for me I wanted to keep them a little more um, I don't know, plain or 
mysterious. I, yeah, well, honestly, mysterious. I don't feel uh, you can add eyes, but I don't feel like they need them. Yeah. Right? Like it's it's just kinda, the way that it's designed. It, you, I see yeah. eyes without you eyes do. being there. It's okay. weird. Okay. Thank she just validated me. <laughs> because it's like almost like you're creating a personality. Yeah. That is what's so fun with crafting is you're creating this personality in these these gnomes that like you could make their mustaches different, their eyebrows different, their hairline different. So there's a lot of things that you can do that's just like really, really fun. So let me grab my little guy here. So now I've got his head, it's all stuffed, it has the wire in it. And I think this one, I'm, I don't know, I wanna keep it kind of straight just to see because I'm sure that, you know, by the time I get done, my family will be like, woohoo, I get a bunch of gnomes. So, all right. So if that's where you want it to be, glue, you're gonna glue your head, your um, hat to your head, and then this is where your beard's gonna be. So what I did was, I have a lot of glue right here, and so I didn't want that glue to show, so that's why my hat's gonna be right here. So you can see that glue line right there, but my beard's gonna cover it, so we don't have to worry, which is really nice. Now, take your glue gun, and the batting will melt in here, so just be aware of that because you wanna actually put your hat on fast. And you also wanna make sure that you don't wrinkle it. So again, I'm gonna find my glue, and then I've got my seam in the back here, and I am just gonna push this on. And Wilma, when you do these, holy cow, you can have them as high or as low as you want, but you're gonna love it. I'm curious about um, doing a bald gnome without the... Do you know? Just I, like do yeah. the, beard, the beard and the mustache. Okay, I think we should try that. Okay. I think we're gonna try that. So, okay, there's our little gnome guy right there. And now, I've already cut out a beard for him. And in the, the package, you're gonna get one of these that has all your little beer fur on it. Let me see, let me show them on the close. It's really cool. It does oh, shed a little feels, bit. It feels, feels amazing. Like a cat, huh? Yes, it it's does. It's really cool. So, just take your little beard and you're going to glue it right here. But if there's a little bit of extra down at the bottom right here, cut it off because you won't want to have it too long. But if you want the beards like in the, in the um display over here my beards actually flow out so they flow out onto the tables so if you want that make sure you keep just a little bit at the bottom but not too much because you will glue them down so we're just going to glue this i love these i could you imagine a whole kitchen table for your family for christmas <laughs> full of christmas gnomes uh, Wilma said, I will have a legion of gnomes. Oh, <laughs> Wilma, I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to see. When you get those done, if you don't mind and you're comfortable, I would love to see a picture of those put up. That just would be awesome. It could also be fun to like hide some gnomes around oh, the house, yeah. like in a tree or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, like little Easter eggs where they have to find them. But isn't that what they do? They hide. Don't gnomes hide? I think so. I, think so. I can't remember. I, you know, you get over grandma age and then you don't remember but okay so I want for this little gnome guy I'm going to actually put and this is an embellishment this does not come with a kit but this is how we can do the embellishments and so I think what I'm going to do is just make him a crown and I'm going to cut a little bit of this off so that's just a garland this material? is just garland I got at the local craft store and look I am actually going to, Aww. I think I'll just glue it just like this. So I'll just twist it in the back first, just so I know to that it fits. It. Right. And then I'll put his little eyebrows underneath it. So look, I don't even really have to glue it because it's got wire in it. You can do and a little check it out. Gnome too. Oh my gosh, that would be <laughs> so cute. That would be really cute. So, but what I did was on the bottom of your fur or beard material, your gnome needs a little bit of hair in the back. So if you pull it up, so like you're raking, so just kind of pull it up a little bit, then get your scissors, because you'll take your extra and you'll use it. 
Oh, so kind of fluff it up. Right, just fluff it up. Now watch this. This is what my, my grandpa, it reminds me of my grandpa. So we're just gonna put it onto the back right here. So this is short hair. If you decide that you want a little bit longer, I would cut off the side here. Anywhere where it's long, actually. So just go like this. Um, when you're gonna get, do something that's really long, pull your, pull your fur like this. And you're just kind of raking it. Because sometimes it, it goes its own way and then you're like, great. So watch this. So if you want a short-haired gnome or a long-haired gnome, it's totally up to you. But I mean, you can make him have hair that stands out. <laughs> so he's got that little hairline on the back. So it's really, I think it's really cute. And that's what I did on those. And I thought, oh my gosh, this reminds me of my grandfather. Because I had a bald grandfather who looked like a gnome. He was awesome. So we'll just put that right here to here. And then I'll just cut this. But you're not going to waste a lot of this. You want to make sure you keep because you can add it as eyebrows, mustaches, anything you want. That's what you can put down. So when you get your kit, don't, don't throw away the extras because they'll, you'll find something to do with them. So check it out. So he's got a little bit of a hairline now. So he's got his little grandpa gnome hair. He's got his grandpa beard. And now we are gonna put his little, so depending on the size, if you want short, use the very, very bottom. If you want a little bit longer, use the next row. But we are gonna put his nose on. And I love these noses because they have holes in them. And when you put the mustache in, you know exactly where to put them. So we're just gonna go like this. And we are gonna add that little, now see, here's his personality. Uh -huh. We already know him, we know him. So he's already got a fun little quirky little personality. And you can even like um, part his hair right here and make him into a totally cute like styling, styling guy here. Okay, so we have this extra that we've, we've done. We can either put it up here and give him a little bit of a look, or we can just um, trim it a little bit more and make the mustache out of it. And I think I'm gonna just cut it in half, make a mustache, and then I'm gonna do a shorter one for his eyebrows. So it's fast, it's easy, the kits are very, very easy to use. So watch this. So there's his mustache. And then you can kind of poke it up. The more you poke his, the beards up, the more personality that they have. So we're gonna do that with this one. And just put it right on the sides where the holes are. That's your guide. Check it out. Yeah, He's it. just so cute. And sometimes you'll get little goobies in the hair and you can pick those out, but I think we probably should do some eyebrows. Look at this little guy. Oh, yes. Isn't he you got cute? He has a little garland and the long hair in the back. So don't be afraid to embellish. Don't and be afraid. Beard. And I think... Super cute. Because these aren't super long, I think I'm going to use these for his little eyebrows. So while, while Shalene is cutting the eyebrows, let me tell you. So if you're like, okay, Nash, this is adorable. I need to, I need to do this. I need a legion of gnomes, just like Wilma said. <laughs> where do I get it? Okay, modomarkettv.com is where I'd like you to go right now to get yours. We have uh, these wooden gnome kits by Shalin uh, on Mondo Market, exclusive to Mondo Market TV. And you can get, uh, get this kit to create your own set of gnomes. The kit includes uh, enough supplies for you to create three gnomes, just okay. like you see there. Um, you have your option of the, the Winter Wonderland hat, uh, the, the mistletoe hat, or the pine cone hat, as you can see there. Uh, you can do, you can select one, uh, 
you get to pick which ones that you like. You can do all three uh, of, of each one, or you can do a mix. A mix. In, in other words, one of each. Uh, but mm -hmm. in your kit, you'll have three gnome heads, three gnome bodies, three gnome noses. Um, you get uh, three hats for your gnomes. And, uh, of course, the beard and the hair. And then you get to play with it. So this is a fantastic kit. So much fun to make. And the price is just right. I mean, actually, the price is... It's, it's, it's a good price. It's a really good price. You can yep. really have some fun doing this. So just go to mondomarkettv.com right now to get your kit. During the next 24 hours, you get to save. So take advantage of that and go there right now to get yes. yours. Yes. And then we'd love to see what you create. That would be awesome. So here I just put a little bit of eyebrows on him. Oh my gosh, I just love this little dude. You could even name him. Like, you could name him after family members or you can just kind of do what you want. So there you go. So now you gave him eyebrows. Now he has eyebrows. So he has a cute little mustache. He has a fluffy little beard and a secret on the beard. So when you get these and you put them on, glue your beard down oh. because um, you want it to be able to stay in one spot and you don't need very much glue just enough to wrap that around if you glue the very very bottom you won't be able to flip your hair out because you want that hair to come it's like he's morphed into a whole <laughs> new a whole new gnome so there you have it and love if, him if you want to embellish it the eyebrows really do make a difference they do they ch it changes everything so here is this is just something i bought too for um, embellishing so i'm just going to glue the cap of this bell on and i think we're going to put it on his head i think he's going to have a brother so just glue that on and then you can just take take the string off of this and I actually just glued mine right to it um, you know you can do whatever you want but you could actually just glue your bell like right into here so if we put a little bit of glue in there and let it sit for a few minutes while we make our bald gnome and uh, the embellishments are a fun way for personalization so yes. if you're doing for example one for each place setting you can find little knickknacks, little charms yeah. that uh, remind you of a special someone mm -hmm. and uh, make them as, as the embellishment. So for example, if, yes. there's, if you have a grandkid that's always on their phone and it's something that you guys talk about, you can get a little uh, phone charm and then put it on, <gasps> put it on the gnome. That would just be so cute. Or if there's a, a pet that they have, you can yeah. find a little knickknack, a charm of that pet and put it on the, on the gnome and embellishment, embellish right. them that way and personalize them. I think that would be so adorable. Adorable. Or you could do what I did because this is for Nash. Oh. So you got this little name thing here that you could put Aww. on a piece of paper. Cool. That says Nash. Ah, So thank wouldn't that you. be cute on your kitchen table? <laughs> It'd be super adorable. Oh my gosh. I just think it's so darling. And stuff like this is so unique too because nobody's going nobody's gonna to have this in your neighborhood. That's, yes, that's how a unique given. this is. Yes. That's a given. So, okay, we're going to make our little bald gnome here now. Are we going to put hair on the back of his head or just I don't know. you want him bald? I, I think it'd be okay. funny. I think he'd be cute I like bald. how they have the big nose. So maybe mm -hmm. like the, the, the mustache. <gasps> oh, the biker the mustache. Bald, and the bald head. Yep. So I actually have a pattern in the, the instructions that come for your beard. If you do not want to do the triangle, do a square. So it's totally up to you. If That'll you, just give you a different effect? It gives you a totally different effect. So, I mean, you could do a cousin it one too. <laughs> no, but I mean, so if you're going to do measure it into a square, then see how I've wrapped that right around. So here's corner to corner. And I would make it even because you got to have to get three out of it because square takes a little bit more. The triangle gives you a little bit extra to play with. So here's your square, and I'm just going to cut it about right here. So we've got here to here. But I'm going to show you how to cut it. By the way, Brandy says, hello, everyone. Hello, Brandy. Hi, Brandy. Good to have you here. Okay. 
So I've made a couple little cuts in my fur. What I want you to do is, like we did before, rake it. Because if you don't rake it, you get this clean edge right here. You can still use this, but the bottom piece I used more for my eyebrows and extra stuff. But like I say, I used about every single thing I had when it came to, um, to using it on all the gnomes. So see, you're kind of making a part because you're trying to find the material because you don't want to cut a lot of those little pieces off. So I'm just going to go down here. And then I'm going to go to my cut right here. So I just need a little bit more. And then I've got another cut right here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to part the Red Sea kind of thing. So just pull it until you don't have any more fur or you feel like you can you can cut it and just kind of eyeball down and you can just cut that right off so let's get to that one so look there's your beard Ta -da. but to curve it you're going to do this so you're going to pull the edges off so pull as far as you can off of here without trying to cut a lot and then curve your beard. So, so just, you're, cu you're cutting the, the material that holds the beard together, yes. not the actual beard. Yes, because I want, I want to curve that just a little bit to give it a natural beard look. Although I don't know how many beards are actually really curved, but for <laughs> us, we're going to curve it. So... So right here, so see I've just curved that just a little bit. You can make it a little bit finer, but um, I've just got it curved. And now we're gonna, you're, it'll shed, and I'm really sorry, but it does do that, but it's okay. So now, our little bald guy, we're gonna put his little beard on. Oh, he's going to flip, too. He's going to have his hair flip. <laughs> I love the flipping look. I think it's really cute. So we're just going to glue. Bunch of glue right there. Pull that around. Get it into your curve of the gnome body here. And then just push tight. Oh, he's already really cute. <laughs> so there you go. Now, because we have a little bit of extra here, well, let's see. Let's see what he looks like without any back hair. Now we're just gonna get him a nose. And the noses are so easy to glue on. And I didn't paint the nose either. So like I say, if you wanna paint it, go right ahead. Put a little, make it a, mm -hmm. put a little red blush on the nose on the oh tip of the gosh, nose. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. So there you go. So there's his nose, <laughs> got his beard out here. Now you can dust these too, and I'll show you that in a minute. But you can actually dust the, I'm gonna use one of these. You can dust his um, beard a little bit with like a fairy dust or a really fine like um, glitter dust. Let's pull this down. So the more you pull apart and figure out what you want to do with it pulled apart, the better you're going to be off if you want the longer look. So I'm just going to cut this about there. And then I'm just going to cut this right in half. So this will be his little stash. And you can push it up, down, all around. It doesn't matter. You basically you shape it with your fingers. Shape it with your fingers. Try not to get it too wet. If you're, so here's what I did the other night. I was trying to do some other stuff, and I started licking it to make it straight, and it pulled it right out all oh. the fur. So I was like, oh, guess I won't be doing that anymore anymore. So something in my saliva was not happy. It was probably my soda. But so get it on your nose and then just shape it. And if you want to be able to move the mustache around, don't glue the end of your mustache because that way you can move it. And then we'll just do this one. 
So I've left the fur going up, but then I'm going to manipulate it so I can move it around. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. These guys really are cool. <laughs> oh, cut that little string right there. <laughs> yeah. Do you want eyebrows? <laughs> yeah, give him eyebrows. Let's put some eyebrows on him. Look, and just so you can see while... It's just cute. <laughs> He's just cute. So we're going to do the same Super thing. Cute. Just cut a little line, and then you can make his little eyebrows. Have you ever seen the grandpas in the store that have the eyebrows that go like to here? Yeah. They're really cute. They look at you and smile, and you're like, I just want to trim it. Okay. So eyebrows again. And we'll just cut these in half. No uni brows, just an eyebrow. Make sure you cut it all the way. Every time you cut, you're going to lose a little bit of the fur, so that's okay. So we're just going to put this little guy on here. And we're just going to glue him. So he's got his little, his little look there. Oh my gosh, he's like a fully or a furry Sasquatch. Let's do this other one. Make sure when you glue them, you glue them the same way so you don't have one going up and one going down because that probably wouldn't look very good. So there you go. Ta da! <laughs> is that a gra That's a grandpa. <laughs> that That's a, a grandpa, grandpa gnome. <laughs> That is a grandpa gnome. <laughs> Look at him. He's cute. He is cute. So you can do them funny. bald. <laughs> you can do them bald if you want to. It's all good. They just make me laugh. They're so cute. <laughs> so if you're like, fun. okay, I want this. How do I do this? Where do I get it? Go to mondomarkettv.com. This is the exclusive wooden gnome kit uh, available for you, especially during the next 24 hours. Mm -hmm. There's a cool promo going on. So take advantage of the savings and get yours today. These kits are fantastic. They're not only adorable, they're not only cute, but they come with everything that you need. Basically, all that you'll need is a uh, glue gun and paint if you want to paint your gnome yep. bodies. But the kit includes uh, enough materials, enough supplies for you to create three gnomes. It comes with the gnome heads, the gnome bodies, and the gnome noses. You also get gnome beard and gnome eyebrows and hair. That's uh, and supposed to give you good luck. And it'll all come in. <laughs> um, and you get uh, the gnome hat. You get you, you basically can choose between the, the fabric that you want for the hat. Mm -hmm. You have your option of the mistletoe, mistletoe, the pine cone, and the winter wonderland, right. or a mix of all three. So during checkout, you get to pick. And if you don't see that on the checkout screen, uh, make sure you refresh the page uh, to see those options there. But you can pick which one that you'd like, and you can have fun making them all. The price is just right. You yeah. can order a bunch of these kits and really have a blast doing these. And think yeah. about think about gatherings, uh, parties, family mm -hmm. gatherings, Neighbor Christmas. Neighbor gifts. Neighbor, Neighbor gifts. gifts. Exactly. You really could go all out with these. Yeah. Have fun. They take about 10 minutes to make, if not less. Yeah. And uh, they make such an impact, though, because they're adorable. And you can personalize them by, uh, for example, mm -hmm. adding the embellishments, adding the little bells at the end, or adding little uh, charms tag. or name tags, like uh, mm -hmm. Shalin did here for a place setting. So really, they're super adorable and a must-have. MondoMarketTV.com is where I'd like you to go to get yours and create these beautiful, adorable, and fun to make. Cute little gnomes. Super cute gnomes. Yes. Now, I want to show you one more thing before we go. This is this is the, the glitter Ooh. dust. Now, I am not going to, um, I'm not going to glue it. I'm just going to dust it. So I'm going to get everything situated here. And this will end up on your table a little bit. You can, um, you can put it on here and then spray a little tiny bit of hairspray on it. Don't spray a lot because you might end up ruining your fur. So just, just be aware of that. So we're just gonna put a little bit, just like this. And look how different that looks. Achoo! Achoo! So now, I don't know if you can see the glitter, Ooh, but see. it's cute. Well, I wonder if we can get that sparkle. I don't know. But it's just, this is an iridescent. It just, it's, just adds just a touch. It's just clear. Yes. And also, <laughs> right now it looks like yeah, dandruff on dandruff. the table. <laughs> but you could spray a little bit of hairspray on that and it, and would, it would stay. stay. But you very don't nice. want to do very much because you don't want... Um, 
you don't want your fur to fold up or get clumpy. And that is just glitter. Just glitter. I mean, it's just a clear, kind of an opalescent glitter. So, um, I mean, it, um, it comes in, it's not the metallic kind. It's just almost like snow. Kind it's of just like snow. perfect. Yeah. By the so. way, Wilma said, I placed my order. Awesome. Oh, Thank Wilma. you, Wilma. I cannot wait to see what you create. I'm so excited. So thank you so much. I'm, I'm excited for everyone to be able to make these. Um, the response last week was fabulous, and we are so excited to be able to present this again because these little guys are something else. Hit. Yes, they and are. they're adorable. I mean, they're going to be the talk. Like, you put these on the table, and oh they're going to be the talk of the party. Yep, people are going to be like, oh my gosh, who did those? And you're going to say, <laughs> me. I did, It was yes. me. Uh, so. Sandy said, so cute. Oh, thanks, Sandy. Sandy super cute. So I'm excited. I, I, I hope when you get your kids that you get so excited because you're opening up something like Christmas. And that's one of the reasons why I wrapped it for you because I uh, cherish our friendship and I cherish our, our crafting time together. And so when you open that gift of crafting and you start creating these wonderful, fun little guys, I mean, I hope you just enjoy every minute like I do because, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm addicted. So, you know. That's maybe, right. Maybe one day I'll, I'll post a picture and show you guys all the little different gnomes that I'm going to do because <laughs> definitely I'm going to customize them to a lot of the things that my family is and and who we are we have a lot of farming in That'll and school adorable. teachers so we have farming and school teachers in our family Put little so. books in their hands yeah that would be so cute they could actually you could stack little tiny pieces of wood and make them into books and then put the gnome on top and then write the names of their favorite books ah, on them. It would be really cute. So cool. So, yes. you're really darling. <laughs> all right, all right. So, MondoMarketTV.com. That's where you can get your gnome kits. Remember, it comes with everything yep. that you need. Gnome bodies, gnome head, gnome hat, nose, beard, uh, pretty much everything. And it, you get enough in a kit comes with enough supplies for, for three, three gnomes you get to pick also the style of the hat comes in pine cone uh winter wonderland uh mistletoe or a mix of all three so mm -hmm. you decide all right so mondomarkettv.com during the next 24 hours take advantage of the cool promo that we have going on and save uh these are fantastic the price it's less than a dessert less than an ice cream yeah. out so it's a no-brainer mm -hmm. go there right now mondomarkettv all right any final cool. comments you'd like to leave our, our friends with today? I just want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Yes. I'm so grateful that we get to spend this, this time with each other every single week. We have awesome fans. This is just the place to be, and I am so excited for 2019 for all the stuff that will be going Ooh, on yes. here at Mondo Market. I'm totally just stoked so it's going to be amazing yes 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 uh wilma said i think that my husband will help me put the gnomes together he loves gnomes oh. this would be wonderful oh that's so cool wilma yes <laughs> that's awesome all right my friends well, well for those of you in the u.s happy thanksgiving yeah and we'll be back is it next week next week next week remember uh the crafting with shalene show happens every week here on mondo market tv on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Mountain, okay. 5 p.m. Eastern. So see you next week and go make some gnomes.